Good morning, YouTube. Nice to see you. Uh, welcome to the third, third live stream workshop from Ukulele Rocks. Flog the t-shirt, flog the merchandising stuff. Thank you. Yeah, this morning's workshop is called For FRC. For FRC. Yeah, it's not that great. But today we're going to be looking at some new chords. We're going to be looking at a new chord of F. We're going to be looking at a chord of C7 and also changing between chords. Lots of people seem to find this is a little bit challenging, especially when you're first learning. So maybe today through some of the um, pieces we have on the website, through some of the backing tracks, through maybe some of the things I can help you with and tell you, maybe we find it a bit easier today. Today we're going to be going through four pieces in total. We're going to start off with Frere Jaca, which will help us learn our chord of F. Then we're going to go on to a piece called Rock Those Chords, which is the first piece that we practice to use to change our chords from F to C or C to F. One way around, C to F, I think it is. And then the third piece we're going to do is called Seaside Sauce. Seaside Sauce has got one extra chord in it. It's got a C7. Very easy. Easy chord to play, C7, and easy to change from, which is why it's in the piece. And then finally, we're going to try and put it all together into a really well-known song called Polly Wally Doodle. Now, I know I'm framed a little bit today. Yeah, lockdown haircut. Yeah, I know. How are you doing with your lockdown haircut? Okay. Yes. But I wanted to be a little bit higher in the frame today to talk about how to hold our ukulele to make ourselves a little bit more comfortable when we're playing chords and changing chords. So, hope you got your ukuleles. Grab them well. Make sure they're in tune. Have a little playthrough. Are they nearly there with me? Okay, so let's start off with piece number one, which is the well-known Frere Jaca. Now, if you look at Frere Jaca on the website on Ukulele Rocks, you'll see there's a lot of Frere Jaca. We really go into Frere Jaca on Ukulele Rocks. There's over 50 different versions, well over 50. It could be even approaching 70. Who knows? Go count them. Somebody, quick, count them. Let me know. But for us today, we're going to do a few of the versions. We're not going to do all 50, obviously. Um, but the first chord we need, and the only chord we need for Frere Jaca, is our brand new chord of F. So let's get on that straight away. So with our hand at the top, we're going to number our fingers one, two, three, and four. Don't really come across finger number four. It's a bit weak and feeble. We don't use it an awful lot as beginner players. Um, so we're going to use finger number one. And finger number one is going to go on string number two in space number one. And then finger number two is going to go on string number four in space number two or fret number two. Okay, happy with that so far? Remember, we want those nice tall fingers standing up. Otherwise, if they are very flat, they're going to foul the other strings and they won't let the strings vibrate and <coughs> resonate. So, finger standing nice and tall. Finger number one goes on string number two. And finger number two goes on string number four. My chord of F sounds like this. What's yours sound like? Okay. Sound good? Good. Now, while your fingers are getting used to these new shapes and new things to do, remember, take them off often. It's always good practice. Take them off, put them back on. It'll help them remember where that chord of F is. You don't have to dance over the strings to get to your fourth string. It's just I do it. It kind of gets people's attention a little bit. You can just simply go straight down, second string, fourth string. Okay? So... Frere Jaca, most people know Frere Jaca, but it works like there's always a leader, a call and response type of song. I sing something, you sing it back. I sing my line, you sing the same line back to me. So let's give it an easy go now. Find your chord of F. Using your thumb, you're going to fly downwards through the strings in a nice, easy strum. Try it with me straight away. One, two, three, a strum. Uh, I'll go first. 
and then you sing back to me. Ferreira Jaca Dormez-vous Sonne la matina Din, din, dun And stop there. Quick rest for the fingers. Remember, if you've got those slightly tingly fingers and you've got those big grooves in because you've been pressing the string down, grab that big muscle at the top of your leg, give a bit of a squeeze, and the tingle will soon go out of those fingers. Don't stick them in your mouth. There. Nasty. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's go back to that chord of F again before we leave Frere Jacques. Second string. Fourth string, we're getting better at remembering that. Nice tall fingers. We haven't talked about our other thumb much. Remember, it must be in contact with the neck. I'm not overly fussy. Some people like to have, can I show you? I can just about show you a contort. Some people like their thumb halfway down the neck. Some people like it a lot higher. Some people like it kind of hooked over the strings. I kind of like it peeking out peeking over but it must be in touch with the neck don't let it fly around on the back otherwise you get no downwards pressure on the strings okay happy with that good let's try it chord of f one two three a strum now let's try a different frere jacca let's try it in english are you sleeping brother john Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Very nice. Fingers off. Quick rest. Good. Now, there are lots and lots and lots of different versions of Frere Jacques on the website. Go check them out. Find your favourite. Usually, if you can name a film, there's a Frere Jacques to go with it. Even most of the cartoons... There's a Ferrari jacket to go with it. Your superheroes, there's a, you get the idea. Go and check it out. Also, more interestingly, you have got a chance to write your own Ferrari jacket. And on the website, it explains how you do that. You can pick a topic. It shows you how to fit the syllables or how we split words up to go in songs. You could write your own version of Ferrari jacket. Send it in to me. There's a contact page on the website. And if it's any good, <laughs> it's not even if it's any good, I'll put it on the website and I'll give you a shout out. Okay. And lots of people have done that. Lots of schools have done that. And lots of children have done that. And adults have done that as well. So please go and check it out. Write your own Frere Jacca. Lots of fun. But for the minute, let's move on. So the whole of this morning is all about changing chords. Now, in Frere Jacques, we didn't change any chords. We just held the same one. And that's fine because that's all we need. But to change chords, now we're going to need to play a piece called Rock Those Chords. Now, Rock Those Chords, we need a C, a chord of C, and also a chord of F. So let's have a quick reminder. Our chord of C, one, two, three three fingers all on the A string, space them out nice and neatly. Each has its own fret or its own space. One, two, three. Or as we like to say, one, two, three, makes a chord of C. Boom, boom. Here's my chord of C. How's your chord of C? Okay, good. Now let's just have a quick practice before we get into the piece. And you know I like doing this. No sound. There's your chord of C. Jump to your chord of F. So that first finger hops over to the second string and your second finger onto the fourth string. Don't need your third finger. It can have a bit of a time off. Okay, so there's your chord of F. Happy with that? Good. Let's go back to our chord of C. One, two, three. And let's change it to F. Hop over. Chord of F. Better? Okay. Good. Now, there's nothing massively fast about the changing chords in Rock Those Chords. What we're going to do, there's a bit of a pattern to it. We're going to play the chord of C in twos to go one, two, little break. One, two, take a rest. One, two, stop right there. One, two, change to F. And then we change our F pattern in twos in exactly the same way. So, in other words, there were four lots of the Cs and then we change to four lots of the F. 
Let's have a little practice of that now before we put the backing track on. Chord of C to start off with. Okay. All right. With me. One, two, three, four. One, two. Little break. One, two. Take a rest. One, two. And a bit. One, two. Change to F. Little help. Little gap. Take a break. Back to C. Good. Doing all right? Okay. And stop there. So I'm trying to give you a little bit more chance and a bit more time to change those chords. When we put the backing track on, you've got no chance. But remember, as always, give it a few hours. YouTube very nicely puts this live stream up. You could go back, pause the video if you want to, and practice this section over. For the now, we're going to go and put the backing track on for rock those chords. So I'll just flick over here. Here we go. Chord of C ready. One, two, three, all on the A string. Okay, listen carefully to the backing track. The nice man of the booter does count you in. There we go. One, two, three, four. And we'll stop. Little break. Change to F. Fast, wasn't it? Here we go, ready? Back to C. Change to F. That's it. Try and keep up. Doing well. Back to C. We're going to finish on C. Ready? Finish on C. There we go. As easy as that. A very short piece just to practice those changes of F to C. And it might have been a little bit fast if this was your first time doing it. Don't panic about it. All right. Have a little go. Get on your phones. Download the. Um, you can download the backing track if you want to, and go onto the website. Try playing along with it. Have a bit of practice. It's nice and simple. I like the idea of repeating those chords. It just seems easier and gets you a bit more practice to swap between them. All right. So let's move on. We're going to introduce a new chord now in C side source. Now in C side source, we introduce a chord called C7. And if you saw the previous live streams, we have mentioned this chord because it comes slightly in passing in the chill out walk. Now C7, very simple chord. Finger number one, string number one, space number one. And there it goes, easy as you like. And my C7 sounds like this. How's your C7? Now, seventh chords in general always sound as if they've got something more to say. They always sound a little bit unfinished. It's like when you're going, oh, look, the noisy dustbin wagon's about to go outside past my house. And C7, seventh chords are a little bit like that. They usually have to what we call resolve and finish and change to the next chord that they resolve to. Usually it's a five, one, it's a it's seven, B, A, G, F. Yeah, it goes from five back to one. It all gets a bit complicated, but they've always got to finish somewhere. And for us, it kind of does that, but it's a little bit different. In Seaside Sauce, we're going to start off with our chord of F. So do you remember where it is? Should do by now. Second string, fourth string. And we're going to change from F to C very slowly, very easily. It's going to go F, C. And a little bit of a count. F, C. Five, six, seven, and F. C. This goes with the backing track. It's going to be nice and slow. That's the first section. In the second section, we're going to do C7 to C. Okay, easy enough. And then in the third section, we're going to go back to do the F to C. 
Let's have a quick practice before I put the backing track on. Let's go from the section number one, the F to C practice. Ready? One, two, three. Bye bye, Bin Man. F, C. Team four, five, six, seven, eight. F, C. Team four, five, six, seven, eight. F, C. Got the hang of that one? Okay, section number two. C7 to C. So first finger on the A string. Getting ready to put the other fingers down. One, two, three, four. C7, C. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C7, C. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C7, C. Happy with that? And then the third section, back to our F to C. One, two, three, and F, C. F, C, D, four, five, six, seven, eight. F to C, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, happy enough? Happy enough. All right, let's put the backing track on and let's see if we can play along with that. Starts off very quietly. Get your chord of F ready. A little bit faster than what we were doing. One, two, three, four. F, C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C7 to C now. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to F to C, please. C. Huge crash symbol. Huge crash symbol there. Now, that was quite fast. I thought that going through it, that was quite a quick backing track. But again, like I said, maybe you can have a little practice and see if you can get a little bit better at that. If you're not confident at it at the moment, I'm sure you soon will be from getting from F to C. Okay? Good. So the bin men have gone. The noise has dissipated. Oh, there's some nice birds outside. You could probably pick it up. The audio, we've been having a bit of hassle with the audio lately on the live streams. Um, so what we've actually got is we've got a brand new microphone kind of up here. We've got a very nice new box of tricks down here that's been sat on by the big minion. And it's all going into the laptop down here. Um, and it seems to improve the voice massively. And the ukulele still sounds a little bit wobbly wobbly, like it's phasing, like it's a little bit out of sync. So you'll have to let me know. The comments are very quiet today. If you don't let me know who you are, I can't say hello. I'd like to say hello to my regulars. I'd like to say hello to my friends. And I'd like to say hello to strangers as well. So, you know, let me know. <laughs> and as if by magic <laughs> up pops roger thank you very much roger thank you for the comment excellent mr great to hear me and the lorry and the bin lorry yes good okay good i'm glad the bin bin lorry managed to get across the airwaves there all right so let's come on to our final piece today our final piece is a song now i sometimes think this is well known sometimes some people don't think this is well known this is a song called polly wally doodle now polly wally doodle is one of those very strange sort of nursery rhyme stroke traditionally sort of songs that maybe the older generation seem to know. Oh, thank you, Erica. Thank you for letting me know that. that it sounds okay. Thank you. Nice smiley face. Thank you. Um, Polly Wally Doodle has only got two chords in it. So see, I'm a quick sneaky look. But it gets a bit more complicated with the way that we use those two chords. Now, we're not really going to get into strumming patterns just yet, but we are going to do something a little bit more interesting with them. And it's all to do with the chorus. The verse, pretty straightforward, a straightforward strum. So join in with me straight away, starting on that chord of F. 
I'll show you and help you, and I'll show you when we're going to change to our chord of C. Okay, so here we go, back to a chord of F. One, two, three, Astrum. Don't worry about the singing just yet. If you know the song, wonderful, join in. Remember, today is all about changing those chords. Goes like this. Oh, I went down south for to see my gal sing a polly wally doodle all the day. My soul, she is a pretty girl, sing a polly wally doodle all the day. So you see, it's more or less at the end of each line or the end of each phrase in the verses that we're going to change those chords. All right, let's have another go through that. Just the verse, chord of F, just verse one at the moment. One, two, three, Astrum. Oh, I went down south for to see my gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. My soul, she is a pretty girl, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Okay, so that's fairly easy. Now, in the chorus, we do some more clever things with the chords and also some more clever things with our hands if you're brave enough to do it. The chorus does this. It goes, fare thee well. And we don't play while we're singing the first part of it. Fare thee well, chunk, chunk. So we're going to play twice two F chords in the gap. Fare thee well. Do it again. Fare thee well. Do it again. Fare thee, and then we start strumming. Fare thee well, my fairy, change to C, A. And the rest of the chorus is just a straight strum. For I'm off to Louisiana for to see my Susie Anna sing. Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Chunk, chunk. We have a little chunk, chunk at the end as well. Now, if you want to make it even trickier and a bit more fun for yourself, so my pupils enjoy doing this. What do you think of this? While we sing the fare thee well bit, we're going to wave. Now, at the moment, we haven't really talked much about how to keep our ukuleles nice and static while we're changing these chords. We talked about our thumb being in contact with the neck, but we've not talked about this department. Now, when I'm doing these videos, I play a little bit more unnaturally because I tend to lift my ukulele onto my chest so you can see what's going on. And I clamp it with my forearm, this bit of my arm down here, but I clamp it in to my body. So I'm not holding on with my hand. A lot of beginners try a lot of the time holding on. Now, that's not wrong. It's just sometimes I think you get a better sound if you can let go and you can do what we call a flying thumb instead of holding on. Okay. Now, often when I'm teaching really young beginners, we don't get them to do that. We get them to sit it on their pocket of their trousers, which is down here. All right? And you get this nice diagonal shape to it. And again, you can clamp the instrument into your body and play. Unusually, ukuleles, you do tend to play and strum over the fingerboard. You don't tend to like guitars. Most of the guitars you will play over the sound hall. Keeps things still. And Erica's pointing out she's got a strap for her ukulele. That's fine. I'm afraid I'm not one of these people that says you shouldn't have straps, you shouldn't have plectrums. You should use your fingers. If it works for you, that's really good. Anything that keeps your ukulele nice and still. Some people like to have a piece of um, cloth, like suede leather, like a chamois leather on their leg as well. Stops it slipping around. But whatever works for you, try and keep it still. Try and keep it nice and safe and static. All right. So, fare thee well. In the chorus, instead of just playing and singing the fare thee well, chunk, chunk, we're going to wave. Because we are going to say, fare thee well, bye-bye, fare thee well. So it goes, fare thee well, chunk, chunk, fare thee well, chunk, chunk, fare thee well, my fairy. Got the idea? All right, let's have a little try with that. Chord of F, see where we're going. Ready? One, two, three. Fare thee well, chunk, chunk, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. And there we go. Now. <clears throat> Time is getting on. So what we want to do now is we're going to run through the whole 
of the song. Now, there are four verses to Polly Wally Doodle in the version I've got, and all those verses are on the website. You can download your copy, your sheet copy of the music if you want to, the lyrics, or you can just play along from the website. We're going to have a go now. So find your chord of F. All right, here we go. Verse one. One, two, three, a strum. <laughs> Oh, I went down south for to see my gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day My sal, she is a pretty girl Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day And stop, fare thee well Fare thee well Fare thee well, my fairy fay for I'm off to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Strum. All right, verse two. Grasshopper sits on the railroad track sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Picking his teeth with a carpet tack sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day and stop. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm off to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing a polly wally doodle all the day. Strong. Verse 3. Behind the barn, down on my knees, sing polly wally doodle all the day. I thought I heard a chicken sneeze. <laughs> Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm off to Louisiana for to see my Susiana. Sing a Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Last verse. Oof. I love watermelon I have for you Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day I love watermelon cause it wets my ears Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day Fare thee well, fare thee well Fare thee well my fairy fay For I'm off to Louisiana for to see my Susiana Sing a Polly Wally Doodle all the day one more time. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm off to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Big finish there. <laughs> a bit of a speed up. So there we go. A very busy morning, slightly longer than usual to fit everything in. So this morning, we learnt this brand new chord of F with our Frere Jacques. And then we looked at changing chords from F to C with rock those chords with the backing tracks as usual. And then we introduced a third chord, C, uh, C7, <laughs> C7 in seaside sauce. It's a bit of a tongue twister. C7 in seaside sauce, swapping chords again. And finally, we finished with our song, Polly Wally Doodle, making a little bit more of the strumming patterns and making a bit more interesting in the choruses. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Trap.